I'm trying to find a very Pacific brush. Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Spooky season, it's finally here. Everybody's favorite time of year, I feel like. Especially those of you who are creators, I know I always feel like I come alive during the Halloween season. And look at, look at all my little, I'll get out of frame so you could see. Do you guys like it? All decorated for Halloween. I love the way that looks, dude. Today, you guys, I have realized that I have never done any of the Disney princesses on my channel and just in general for Halloween and that is so weird. I feel like Halloween, everybody thinks like it needs to be intricate in order to do good or look good or anything like that. And today I really wanted to start off with a simple Disney princess look. For those of you who maybe aren't into gory looks, who maybe aren't like into doing intricate details, I suck at doing skeletons. I don't know if it's because I have lip filler that I just like suck at the mouth. We are going to be doing Snow White today. I actually have a perfect Snow White wig. I have a Snow White outfit. I got an apple in my refrigerator. So we are ready to go, honey. And I also wouldn't be myself if I didn't encourage you guys to please be safe this Halloween. I know everybody is over the pandemic, but the pandemic certainly is not over. If you do see people, please make sure you wear a face mask and or if you can get tested before seeing others. I also want to let you guys know that I am trying to plan something for Halloween with my Animal Crossing. Thank you guys for being so cool about me streaming. I know that that's something really different to my channel, but don't worry. That's just a little added content. I'm still primarily beauty. A ain't going nowhere, so don't worry. I will let y'all know. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that is where I announce when I go live. And make sure your notifications are on even though they don't work. Ha ha ha, YouTube, you clowns. All right, anyway, let's get into this video, y'all. I'm gonna zoom you guys on in and let's get started. So first up for Snow White, if you look at her like cartoon images, she doesn't have very much intricate eyeshadow going on or anything like that. So this will be, again, super easy for anybody out there. And she's got very, very, very dark eyebrows. My eyebrows, I normally dye them. I'm actually at that point where I need to dye them again. I wanted to ask y'all, are you interested in like a brow update, how I dye my brows? I've been getting so many sweet, sweet messages about my brows lately and it's got me wondering like, hmm. For brows today, we're going to be going in with my favorite combo. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. You could tell I really like it because all the packaging is rubbed off of it. I use it so much. And we got the Glossier Brow Flick. I actually am so shook at how long these products have lasted me. I think I ordered them, I ordered them in like the beginning of quarantine, I feel like, and it's October now and I still have a lot left. So what I do with this product is I start where my brows are the most sparse because that's always where you're gonna deposit the most product and then just kind of work my way through. Since like I am going to be wearing a black wig, I wanna make my brows match it, you know? So I'm gonna be going ham with the brow flick. And these are all, like both products are in the color brown. And I'm just gonna start making little strokey strokes in the beginning. And then I'm just gonna be like literally coloring them in. Cause I want them to be dark, you know? What are your plans for Halloween? Are you gonna do any Zoom things? Are you just gonna hang out with family? Celebrate on the couch? Like what's your vibe? I honestly like really wanna do live streaming with you guys on Halloween. There are also some really cool drive-through experiences that LA is having that I signed up for so I'm really excited. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with this brow. I'm gonna go ahead to save some time and do the other brow off camera and we'll be back to do our eyes. For today's eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using Lunar Beauty's Moon Spell Palette. This is seriously the best palette for this time of year. This is Manny MUA's brand and regardless that him and I are friends and that I love him to death, even if I didn't know him, this palette is seriously incredible. It is perfect 
for Halloween. Like you got your greens, your blues, your turquoises. You also got your neutrals in here. Like I can't say enough good things about this palette and that's the one we are going to be using today. So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna be going in with a blank canvas. This is from P. Louise and Mitchell's collab. This is such a random little side note, but I feel like I've gotten so many questions about my breast reduction lately and I'm getting a lot of new comments on those videos that I uploaded about my breast reduction even though you know it was over a year ago so part of me is like wondering do you guys want like a year update if so like what do you want me to talk about in it do you want me to talk about things I wish I would have known or you know like how I feel about my boobs a year later. Like, let me know your thoughts on what you guys think. And thank you guys for so, all the love on my new song, My Mind. Oh, uh, it means the world to me. Like, seriously, it means the absolute world to me. I can't thank you enough for supporting all my endeavors, like, even outside of beauty, you know? Like, doing my Savage X Fenty partnership and doing streaming and, you know, hanging out with the dogs, posting dog content, posting my little fashion content. Like, that means the world to me. Like, you guys like me for me. And I don't know, it just, I just love you guys. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And, you know, sometimes I get a little bit scared venturing outside of beauty like I don't ever want to lose subscribers and like sometimes it feels like I'm stuck you know what I mean like sometimes I'll get comments that say how do you not have a million subscribers yet how do you not have this how do you not have that but it's not just me you guys like it's like a lot of beauty youtubers as a whole have been kind of like stuck as far as growing goes and you know like sometimes those comments like if if I read them on an off day they will just ruin me because I know that you know even though they may be said with the best intent ever and are kind. Like if I'm on an off day where like as a content creator, like why am I not growing? Why am I this? Why am I not that? Blah, 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 blah. If I see comments like that, they really trigger me in some type of way. And I know that's the same thing for a lot of other content creators. So just keep that in mind. Like whenever you comment on anybody's page, like, you know, why don't you have more views or why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? Like, honestly, like it's out of our control. And at the end of the day, I wish I did have a bigger audience, but I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that is here. We're gonna first go in with the shade Winifred right here. Also as a good tip, if you are somebody that is a makeup artist or you're doing a lot of Halloween looks on clients or just you're a content creator in general, I highly recommend one of these. They're called the color switch. You can use your brush on it to swirl off color on it. This brush, like you can still kind of see, but it was entirely blue. So it gets rid of it really nicely. And we are just gonna go in and put that as our transition shade. I do have a lot of Halloween looks planned that I'm excited about, but if you have any ideas or like anything you want me to create, let a bitch know in the comments. You know what I'm saying, Shane? The next color I'm gonna be going in with and the final color for the crease is going to be Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? I'm trying to find a very Pacific brush that I wanna use. Here we go. This is a ColourPop E nine brush deepening the crease a little bit y'all like nothing insane because like I said if you look at Snow White as a whole she really doesn't have any eye makeup just like crazy lashes so now I'm just taking a, a big fluffy brush without any product on it and kind of just like softening the edges even more and I think what I'm gonna do is switch to the ColourPop sandstone palette mainly because it's sitting right here on my desk and it has the color that I need, honey. And uh, we are going to carve the crease because I feel like Snow White would have a cut crease modern day, you know? I feel like she would have a soft glam cut crease. So we're using the same blank canvas. I'm using a flat brush from ColourPop and we are just going to cut this crease. And I'm making it like a little bit more rounded than I normally would just because I feel like she's got like really large eyes. I feel like that's pretty good. While the shadow is still wet because I don't want to like accidentally blink or do anything like that, I'm going to be using Big Bend as the color. This brush is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. She's got amazing brushes if you guys are looking for some new ones. I am just going to tap this on. This shadow also has a little bit of like shimmer in it. It's like matte with a little bit of sparkles. It's like interesting, but I do feel like it's 
great for Snow White. Perfect! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and be back. So I think because we're doing a glam Snow White, it would be really fun to play around with some gems. So I think what I wanna do is maybe like line the cut crease. They come in 12 different sizes, so I'm gonna use the smallest size. So I am going to be using some Tarte Lash Glue. This is the Tartist Pro Lash Glue. The tool I use to apply my gems is a Crystal Katana. Honestly, it makes putting gems on your face so much easier. This is primarily made for nails, but like it's an easy way to pick up the gem and just place it onto your eye. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, the bottom of my foot, it's just so bad. And I usually put like a couple dots, like as you can see, there's four down right now. And you can use the pointy side of it to kind of reposition the gems to wherever like you see fit. And you do definitely want the glue to dry a little bit. You want it to be tacky, otherwise the gems will not stick. I've made that mistake so many freaking times, so don't be like me, okay? To save some time, because I'm literally gonna be here just doing this for probably the next 15 minutes, and y'all pretty much get it. I'm just following that cut crease line. So I will be back and magic both of our eyes will be done. Abra Kadabra Beach. Uh, just kidding. I totally forgot to tell you guys a really important step. So, since we are, I want to do winged liner. You don't need to do winged liner if you don't want to, if it's not your forte. But I feel like this look will look really even more glam with a little wingy ding. So you want to stop your gems about like right about here. So that way you have room to see how big you want to make your wing because if you put gems down, you're gonna have to take them off to make your wing. So we are going to be going in with House Labs Eyeliner. This is literally my favorite eyeliner ever. And it's not gonna be like an insane wing. It's gonna be like a tinier, smaller wing. So I am just gonna clean up this wing a little bit and then like it looks like we'll maybe only add one more gem and I will officially be back with both eyes done, honey. We're back and I got my gems on. So let's go on in with some mascara. This is my favorite mascara currently. This is the Marc Jacobs at Lashed and we are prepping for falsies. I do cut a pretty decent amount of the lash on these. I'm just looking for my scissor. This is what they look like. I feel like they're a really nice full lash, you know? I have a discount code with Lily Lashes. It's N-I-C-O-L at the checkout. I do receive a select commission when you use my code, so thank you in advance. Yeah, I cut off a big chunk of these because these are really, really full and like long lashes. I cut about this much off. Here, does that help? I cut a decent amount off for sure. I've really been enjoying this Tarte Lash Glue because it doesn't like kill my eyes when I take my lashes off. And it doesn't leave like crazy weird adhesive or any of that. All right, let's pop these suckers on. Yep, these are literally perfect for our Snow White lashes. This is what I wanted because I didn't want it to be like insanely big lash. All right, so I'm gonna do the other one off camera. All right, so let's move on to our face. We are going to prime with the Glowy Makeup Serum. This is from Laneige. I love this stuff so much. It is so good. The way I like to apply it is I'll kind of like wring it out there, get a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the forehead and you're ready to go. So now that this has become like a little bit tacky, we're ready for the second step. What I do, and this is strictly, strictly, strictly because I have dry ass skin, I'm going in with the Tatcha Serum Stick and I'm going to apply this in the areas where my skin is the most dry and needs the most help. Now, first in a way, I know a lot of people usually use a lighter foundation or whatever you want to do because she is definitely more on the fair side what I'm gonna do is honestly just use one shade a little bit lighter than my normal foundation I'm gonna be using Punjab this is from NARS this is their new matte velvet concealer I mean foundation I love it so much and the way I use it is in sections and then we're gonna be going in with my foundation brush from Sigma and I just kind of go in 
and blend. Don't forget to get your ears as well. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I'm definitely like very fair right now looking. You know that like 1992 necklace I've been wearing a lot? I am like hella allergic to it. I have all of these like crazy ass hives on my neck and it's itchy as hell. Like seriously, one day I really want to make my own jewelry line that's like affordable jewelry for people who have like allergies like this because it's not fair. Like I shouldn't have to spend a thousand and one dollars for me to have a nice necklace. You know what I mean? There's gotta be a way. So I really wanna put that on my like vision board or something, I don't know. So we're gonna be going in with Kimchi Concealer. This is the most concealer. And this is seriously one of my favorite concealers that has come out this year. And with the NARS foundation, I highly recommend not to set it that much. It looks so much better without too much powder and all that. So we are gonna go in to set our under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, Every Beauty Guru's fave, patting out any creasing that may have formed. I should do a YouTube video on how I used to do my skincare and how like horrible it is. We're gonna go into bronzing now. I'm not gonna use a bunch of bronzer at all or honestly any of that because Snow White primarily just has like really pretty blush on her face. So we're gonna be going in with, actually, let's use the New House Labs bronzers. We have Hot Earth. I think that's a little bit too dark for me and Kindle. So I'm gonna be going in with Kindle and I'm just gonna be bronzing a little bit just because like I wanna have a little bit of dimension to my face. Ooh, these are nice, I'm impressed. And I am just bronzing underneath my chin because a girl's been eating like crap and is hella, hella bloated because it's that time of the month too. So we are gonna chisel away our problems. I'm gonna go in with these, with these, with this House Labs highlighter. And this is in Ember. Ooh, pretty. I think this one in Untamed is gonna be the best. And we are gonna go on in and just go crazy with the blush. Okay, this is really cute. Um, I do feel like this side is or this side is darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit more blush over here. I love this pale pink from Lunar Beauty. This is um, Manny's Moon Prism Blush Palette, and just kind of go over to tone anything down. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Cream Blush on top, and I'm gonna go over the highlighter. I'm gonna go over it with the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Iced, and we're gonna just add a little bit of that highlight back to our face. For the lower lashes, y'all, I saw an actual Disney princess. Like if you type in Snow White makeup onto Pinterest, there's literally a Snow White princess that was there that had this beautiful blue kind of like mascara on and I thought that that was really pretty especially because like there's a lot of blue in Snow White's outfit just in general so I'm gonna go grab some blue mascara and let's pop that on the lower lash so I don't have like a dark blue mascara I have a teal one and this purpley one so I'm gonna mix the two and hopefully that will come out good but in the meantime I'm taking this NARS Longwear eyeliner in the shade Ocean Drive, and I'm just gonna use that to line my waterline. I'm gonna first go in with this teal mascara. We'll see how it works. But I think for the most part, we're gonna wanna use the purple one. Oh yeah, this is literally perfect, that two combo. And then for lips, she's obviously got that iconic red lip. So I'm going to line my lips using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bossy. This is just like a true red. And then we're gonna go on in with the Lay Monster Matte Lipstick. We are going in with 1950, which is a true red. We're gonna top it off at the end with this lip oil from Kosas. This is in the shade Jaws. And I'm actually gonna go off camera now, apply the wig, apply my costume, and I'll be right back. I don't wanna put on any lip gloss until the wig is on, because I feel like I'm gonna just get it everywhere, so. BRB. A beach is snow white, honey. Oh my God, this wig is literally perfect. I got it from insert name here. I have a discount code with them as well. Like they are really great affordable wigs, especially for Halloween. My discount code is NICOL at the checkout, but oh 
my god you guys i love the way that this came out let's add our glossy gloss on top because my dry ass lips are screaming you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please if you decide to recreate any of my halloween looks please tag me i'd love to see them i'd love to repost them on my stories and twitter and things like that this has got me really excited now for the halloween season thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and I'll see you next time for a spooky tutorial. Bye!